Hello, my name's John Turmel, and I'm known as the engineer. In Canada, I'm known as the great Canadian gambler. In the United States, I'm known as the professor from the Taj Mahal. I was the teaching assistant of Canada's only mathematics of gambling course at Carleton University in Ottawa for four years in the early 1970s. And I uh, was a professional gambler for the last 35 years. I was one of the first card counters. My fourth year engineering project was called the Computer Analysis of Canadian Stud, which I presented to the World Gambling Conference in Las Vegas in 1976. So I've been playing poker professionally for the past 20 years, and I've just published this book, Play Hold'em Poker Like a Bookie. And it's called the Termel Two-Step Hold'em Poker Call Odd System Study Course and Exercise Book of 15,000 Draws. Because you have to practice counting your outs to know how many pot odds you need to stay. What the name of the game is, Chase for Overlays, Drop your underlays to play poker like a bookie. Now, this also includes my other poker power tools I've invented. The two-step board odd system, the two-card hands odd system, playable hand system, optimal bet system, card memory system, and bet counting system. And these are all tools that I use when I play poker and that you are facing when you're playing with me. Here's how it works. You have the jack-10 and the flop comes ace, king, six, and the turn deuce, and your opponent bets. Well, you're probably beat, and you're going to need one of the four queens to win. Well, there are four queens in the remaining deck, over 40 losing cards. That's over 40 to four. So if you're going to lose one bet 40 times, and you're going to win four times, how much do you have to win? Well, you're going to lose one bet. 10 times for every one time you win, so you must win 10 to break even. So every time you have a four out hand, you must have 10 to stay. If you have an 11, a bookie calls that an overlay. If you have nine, a bookie calls that an underlay. Now it's very simple. With a flush, you have nine outs. With a straight, you have eight outs. With an inside straight, you have four outs. With a pair and a kicker, you have five outs. With two pair, you have two four outs. With a pair in the pocket, you have two outs. With a backdoor flush, that's worth two outs. And a backdoor straight, one, two, or three ways, is always worth one out. So that is a simple Termel two-step call odd system. Here are some examples of how that would work. It's very simple how you figure out how many bets you need in the pot to chase given your number of outs. There are 46 remaining cards on the turn. So, if you have one out, there are 45 losers. So you'll need 45 to 1 to break even. You're going to lose 45 bets. You're going to have to win once, 45 bets. Now with two outs, say you're drawing to a pair in the pocket. You have two outs out of 46, that's one out of 23, so you're going to lose 22 times to one. So you need 22 bets in the pot to chase, looking to hit your set. Now with three outs out of 46, that's about 43 to three, that's about 1 15th, 14 to one against. Four outs, that's the inside straight draw. Four out of 46, about 10 to one against. Five outs out of 46, well, that's about one ninth, so that's eight to one against. Six outs out of 46 is about an eighth, so that is one seven, that's seven to one against. When you have seven outs, that's about one seventh, so it's six to one against. When you have eight outs, a two-way straight, you don't need ten to one like a one-way straight, you only need five to one with a two-way straight. And with nine outs, a four flush, you only need four bets in the pot to chase. With twelve outs, a quarter of the deck, you need three outs in the pot to chase. And with fifteen outs, a third of the deck, you need two to one to chase. That's poker power tool number one. That is the most important power tool that lets you determine whether your bet is an overlay or an underlay. You just count the bets in the pot, and that tells you how many outs you need to chase. So here is a typical example. This is a four straight, inside straight draw. So if there's a bet at some point, you know your opponent probably has a pair and has you beat. So you need to catch a king to win. There are four kings to win. So with four outs, you need ten bets in the pot to call. 
That's easily explained. There are 42 cards that lose. There are four cards that win. About 10 to 1 against. So if you're going to lose one bet 10 times to break even, you have to win back 10 bets once. So forever, when you have four outs, you need at least 10 bot, uh, bets in the pot to chase. If you have more than 10 bets, that's an overlay. If you have under 10 bets, that's an underlay. Substitution, deuce of clubs in the flop. So not only do we have four kings to make an inside straight, but we have a backdoor flush draw, which is worth two outs. So four plus two is six outs of potential, and our poker power tool number one tells us we need seven bets in the pot to stay. If we have eight bets in overlay, six bets underlay, seven bets break even. Now the situation is similar again. We again have an inside straight draw, no backdoor flush potential, but we also have an overcard with three queens out there to help build a better hand than the probable jacks. So you have four inside straight cards, three overcard queens, grand total of seven outs, needs six bets to call. Now, switching to deuce of clubs, and we have a backdoor flush, as well as our overcard and our gut straight. So we have three plus four plus two, nine outs. Same as a four flush, needing four to one to stay. So now we have a four straight with an overcard, no backdoor flush. So that's eight outs for the straight, three outs for the overcard, grand total of 11 outs, about three to one against. Now we have our overcard and a backdoor straight and nothing else. So that is worth three queens and a one point for the backdoor straight, four outs, needing ten to one to call, just like an inside straight draw. Now we've added in the backdoor flush. So we have an overcard worth three, we have a backdoor straight worth one, and a backdoor flush worth two for a grand total of six outs, needing seven to one to call. Eight is an overlay, six is an underlay. Now we have an inside straight draw with two overcards. This hand occurs a lot, for instance, with an ace-king. You almost always end up with a ten-out hand when you hit two of your straight cards. So in this case, that's it. There are six outs overcards, four outs inside straight, ten outs. It's about a quarter, a fifth of the deck, and it needs four to one to chase. Now we also have a backdoor flush chance. So we have the same six overcard outs, four inside straight outs, and two outs for the backdoor flush. Grand total of 12 outs, a quarter of the deck, needing three to one to call. So that's the Termel two-step call odd system. You count the bets in the pot, 10, you know you need four outs to stay. If there are eight bets in the pot, you need five outs to stay. So when you see me staying and there are only four bets in the pot, you know I've got at least nine outs. Think about that. So that is how you play poker like a bookie. You catch all your overlays, you drop all your underlays, and the book is available in the bookstore soon. You can get it on the net right away. It's basically an exercise book of 15,000 problems. The tough part is when you have a one-card four flush, because then having the king can be beaten by the ace, having the queen can be beaten by two, and you have to take that into account. But that only happens about 15% of the time, so that 85% of the time you can know the cut point between the overlay and the underlay by using the simple basic point count. Of course, the book teaches the one-card flush draws to the complicated part, and there's 15,000 practice problems, so you'll learn how to count well. This is my little Outs Odds song. Now, Outs are in capital letters, and Odds are numeric. To chase a flush with nine outs needs a four-bet pot to be. A straight with eight needs five. A gut with four needs ten to see. A seven, six bets, six is seven, mirrored not alone. A five needs eight bets, eight needs five to mirror comfort zone. Overcards three outs needs fourteen bets, keeping chase alive. A pair with two needs twenty-two, a quads one, forty-five.